Hey, what's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? So I got a chance to see Snowman the other night and honestly, I was kind of excited for this movie for like a long time because I remember seeing a trailer a few months ago and I'm like, that looks hype as shit. However, the director came out at one point and said that he wasn't able to shoot 10 to 15% of the movie and my God, does it show. This movie is the equivalent of 19 monkeys shitting in their hands and throwing it at each other. Basic plot of the movie, you have a serial killer who decapitates women that he doesn't approve of and at the end of every murder, he leaves a snowman. And then lo and behold, at some point, this case falls on Michael Fassbender's desk, or Fassbender, or honestly, you know what, I don't even know how his name is pronounced. Either way, Michael fucking Fassbender is the one who's on the case. And this movie's got a pretty awesome cast. It's got Rebecca Ferguson, it's got Charlotte Gainsbourg, it's got J.K. Simmons, it's got Val Kilmer, and weirdly, the movie still ended up like shit. And there's actually some really good acting performances in it. That's probably one of the few positives I have about the movie. Michael Fassbender did the best with what he had to work with. I thought J.K. Simmons was good, Chloe Savini did a good job, and there was a couple other good performances that I liked. And the other positive that I have is some of the cinematography is actually really good. And a lot of the natural settings that they use. There's a lot of like really, really, really pretty looking shots in this movie. But that's simply because Norway just looks good in the wintertime. Besides all that, the movie was a piss puddle. There are several scenes in the movie that are completely unnecessary and did not need to be in the movie. So maybe that 10 to 15% that the director couldn't shoot, you could have subbed out about 25% of this movie. Like, I don't need to see Facebender taking his kid to a shitty auditorium sit-down concert with a crappy band that sounds terrible. And everything with Val Kilmer and Toby Jones could have just been done by expositional dialogue and that would have been fine. None of those scenes needed to be in the movie. And also, I kind of predicted who the killer was fairly early on in the movie because there's a big detail that pretty much gives it away. And there's just like these pointless storylines in the movie, like everything with J.K. Simmons and like the Olympics coming to Oslo, like did that really have to be in there? And also some of the music was pretty unbearable. Other times it was decent, but there were some times where I was just like, what the fuck, why? Why is this? No. The very last thing I will say about this movie, and I mean this with the utmost respect, I do not think it was a good idea to have Val Kilmer in this movie. And it's not because he's not talented because Kiss Kiss Bang Bang is one of my favorite movies and he is the best part about it. However, I did look up an interview of him from earlier this year and he's having some severe health issues. Apparently he had either a tumor or cancer around his vocal cord area and his voice did not sound good. It sounded like a really bad Marlon Brando impression. However, in the interview, he cracked jokes about it. He's like, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry my voice sounds like Sylvester Stallone on Quaaludes, but it's just kind of the way it is. So the guy has totally got his wits about him and he's very active on Instagram. However, he had to go through that unfortunate mishap, so I don't think it's a good idea that he was in this movie. And I really hope everything gets better, because I really, really, really like Val Kilmer as an actor. Also, side note, whoever did the voiceover for him was awful. I don't know what the director was thinking, but the words that Val Kilmer looked like he was saying did not match up with the voiceover that they did afterwards. Like, it did not sync up properly. So not only did it sound goofy, but it was like a poorly edited kung fu movie that's been dubbed into English. Again, not Val Kilmer's fault, but the director fucked up pretty bad on that one. Also, I forgot to mention the fact that there's a scene with some really shitty CGI birds in it, too. But anyway, guys, this movie was a fucking atrocious mess that had a lot going for it. So based on everything I said, I'm gonna give it a 2.6 out of 10. The movie looked good in the trailer, the movie had a great cast, and the movie sounded like a great premise idea, but it was horribly executed, and that director should have kissed some serious ass to try and get a few million more dollars just to finish the fucking movie. But oh well, you win some, you lose some, I guess, right? But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Have you seen this movie? Did you shit on it the way that I did? Hop in the comments. Let me know what's up. Other than that, if you like this review, give me a like, subscribe to all that other bullshit, and I will catch you guys later.